Hi there. As it's the holiday season for many people, I thought I'd offer some suggestions for five books to take on holiday from my own bookshelf. So here are five books from my bookshelf. Now, none of these books are new. They're books I've read in the past and I have thoroughly enjoyed. And if you enjoy this video, I might make another list of another five. I am going to start with a popular historical novelist, Philippa Gregory. And this is The Taming of the Queen, which is one of her Tudor historical novels. And it tells the story of Catherine Parr, Henry VIII's last wife, an intelligent, independent woman who has to navigate the dangerous world of Henry's court and allegations of heresy. It does read like a thriller. I've read many of Philippa Gregory's books and I think this might be my favourite of the Tudor books. But if you love history and you've never read her, then you can read this or any of them independent, independently of the other. But you might want to start with um, The Other Boleyn Girl, which is about Anne Boleyn's sister, who also had a relationship with Henry VIII. These are great books to get stuck into on holiday, on a plane or train, etc. My second suggestion is London, the novel by Edward Rutherford. Now, if you love history and you love London, you have to read this book. It is basically the history of London right from its geographical beginnings long before man entered the scene, right up until 1997, which was when the book was published, but told as a novel, taking you through a multiple cast of characters through all the chapters of London's intriguing history. It's a mightily big read, 800 pages. It might be the only book you need to pack. My third suggestion is the first novel in the Casale series of novels by Elizabeth Jane Howard. It's The Light Years, the first of the Casale Quintet or the Casale Chronicles. If you have never read this author before, I highly recommend her for her amazing ability to create living, breathing, believable characters where the plot very much takes second place. We really care what happens to the people in these books. The saga starts in the years leading up to the Second World War and takes us through the war years and beyond. If you like family sagas with engaging real characters, then you will love these. Fourthly, this is my science fiction offering, Time and Time Again by Ben Elton. Now, if you're in the UK, you should know exactly who Ben Elton is. But if not, then I should explain that Ben Elton is mostly known in the UK as a stand-up comedian who was big in the 1980s and 90s, but is also known mainly since then as the writer and co-writer of some of our best-loved situation comedies. However, Time and Time Again is not a comedy. It is a brilliant, non-put-downable, science fiction, time travel thriller, which is about an attempt to go back in time to prevent the assassination of Franz Ferdinand and thereby prevent the First World War from happening. I won't say too much else as there are some jaw-dropping twists and turns and I absolutely loved this book. If you like your history mixed up with science fiction and time travel, this one is definitely for you. And finally, an author who is best known for her novel Chocolat, I am suggesting Joanne Harris's The Lollipop Shoes. This is the sequel to Chocolat and I actually preferred it to that book. For me, it was more magical and also has a much darker theme, more danger and deeper psychological undertones. If you haven't read Chocolat, I would probably recommend reading that first. But if you have read and love chocolate and haven't read this one, then please do. 
I love Joanne Harris's writing. Her prose is beautiful and rich, using all the senses to produce the landscape of memories and past events that make up the experience of the present. So that's my current collection of books I would suggest for holiday reading. I've put links to them all below. But if you'd like to hear more of my suggestions, do let me know and I'll find some more books from my bookshelf. And if you have any suggestions yourself for a good holiday read, then do let me know in the comment box. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.